Welcome to the Alien Scientist channel. I've always had a keen interest in science all my life. My favorite science of all is the study of matter and energy, a science called physics. The movement of all objects follow simple mathematical rules according to physics. Anytime something moves, it does so based on the laws of physics. When you move your fingers to type or move a mouse, you are flexing different muscles which pull on your bones, causing them to move. In fact, all the biological systems in your body are based on the laws of physics as well. Even the chemical reactions inside our bodies are based on the laws of physics, since the periodic table of elements derives from the laws of quantum mechanics, which are much different from the normal mechanics that we experience on a day-to-day -day level. Physics is all around us, in the engines that drive our cars and the atoms that make up the molecules that make up the cells in our bodies. The study of physics is the study of truth. In fact, it is the study of the ultimate truth of the universe. But what really is truth? Truth is merely a correspondence between things that we can observe and our knowledge of observable matter. The universe itself is the ultimate truth. It is here, therefore it is. But our understanding of that universe is much different from the universe itself. In fact, the laws of physics, just like any law you can possibly name or even think of, were created by humans, written down and set in place by humans, not by any god or the universe itself, but by mortal, fallible humans. Most people judge something as being true or not based on things they already know. This correspondence from observable things to knowledge and our knowledge to how we observe things is called accord. What is true is what accords. Whether it be a matter or a proposition, it must accord. It must be according to something. This is why when you state a fact, you must usually say according to this source. However, the very basis of accord that which is according to is limited to one's current tools and methodology from scientific discovery. The nature of how we come to believe and understand things is called epistemology. The way you control people's understanding of truth is to control their epistemology by controlling the information they are exposed to. In populations it works even better, because by controlling the information they are all exposed to, the pseudo-truth will be in accord with what everyone else thinks is true while the actual truth will not be in accord and will thus be interpreted as being false. By feeding populations a constant diet of pseudo-truth, you can get them to immediately reject the real truth because it is an inversion of what they've already been told is true. Since this does not accord with their understanding of truth, it must be a lie. An example would be, our government would never do that. The individual feels he needs no further proof since inside his mind, his procedure for finding the truth is based on accordance with previous knowledge. The individual sees it as immediately intelligible, what is considered logical from his perspective, and will immediately reject the truth. Science and nature go hand in hand, since the best way to understand the nature of things is to use science. What is science? What is pseudoscience? These are important questions, because if you don't understand the method by which you come to believe something is true, then you won't be able to know when you've actually found the truth or not. Science is based on the scientific method, which is a method of constantly testing the limits of your understanding with experiments and fact-checking. Being scientific means being skeptical. Question everything, including what you already believe. After careful scrutiny, whatever theory you can knock down is most likely to be the truth. Don't be quick to reject a theory that does not immediately accord to prior knowledge without testing the limits of the understandings you are basing your rejection upon. If you don't do this, you could be overlooking the truth, or a major scientific discovery. This is my introduction to the Alien Scientist channel. I made this channel in search of the truth and to share my theories about science and how it applies to nature, humanity, and futuristic technologies. My videos are my theories, just like everything else on the internet, the newspaper, the television, the science books, and the president's mouth. It's just a theory. It may be true, and it may not be true. When was the last time you heard a politician say, don't take my word for it. Go and do your own research. <laughs> I look forward to the day that changes, but for now we live in a much different world. A world in which we must question everything around us, including that which appears true. My videos are not the ultimate truth. They are theories. My goal is not to make you believe anything, but to make you question what you believe. The reason I share my theories and my research is because I think it might be important. You may or may not agree, or you may think that some ideas are important and others aren't. But whether you decide it is completely wrong and ignore it, or whether you take it and expand on it more than I could ever dream, my goal is to make you think. Because personally, I like thinking, and I want to share that experience. If you really want the truth, 
I mean really, really want the truth, the most important thing I can tell you is summed up in four simple words. Do your own research. The truth is whatever you believe, and if you don't question the way in which you believe things, how do you ever know that you've really found the truth? Do your own research. A lie has speed, but the truth has endurance. Do your own research.